Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. So this is basically my first video in a TikTok channel, and um, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I don't know if anyone's watching this. Is literally anyone out there watching this? Thank you if you're watching this. Okay, so uh, basically what I want to talk about today is a book recommendation the book that i want to talk about today what's the deal with it um i read this book about like five or six months ago and since then it stayed with me oof it's a good book wow that's that could be the whole video it's a good book go read it i'm <laughs> i'm not gonna try more than that okay so the book that I want to talk about is none other than The Black Book by Orhan Pamuk. We're traveling to Turkey today, my friends. Yay! Just in our heads because there is a pandemic going on. And yeah, we're all miserable beings in our homes. But yeah, let's forget that. We're, we're, we're traveling to Turkey today. So just let's travel to Turkey. Yeah, from here. Okay. What I love about Orhan Pamuk's writing style is that... Um, okay, by the way, this is Orhan Pamuk. I think he's, he looks cute. He's a cute guy. I hope he is. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, what I love about Orhan Pamuk's books... Uh, I mean, his writing style... Okay, that hand was literally grabbing you by the throat. <laughs> uh, what I love about Orhan Pamuk's uh, writing style is that he is such a genius when it comes to opening lines and ending lines and like literally the first chapter of his books and the last chapter are like they left you in awe and you're like wow like that kind of effect you know what i'm saying this is the sun here okay okay hi there's this other thing when you read Orhan Pamuk's books that you instantly realize that uh he is a gifted writer like that's the best way i can put it he is a gifted writer his writing is so different and he writes he, he he let me tell you one thing he loves to write in detail like this book is lengthy it's so lengthy and there are some parts that i know like so many people uh, don't like this about or Orhan Pamuk books, uh, it, which is that when you reach like the middle part of the book, uh, you're like, wow, dude, I'm done. Like, <laughs> let me out. This is too much details. What's happening? Where's the main story? What is happening again? And yeah, stuff like that, which I get you because when I was reading the black book, I reached that point. Uh, in the middle of the book, I was like, what is happening? Where are we going? Okay, what? Why? What? But I stayed till the end of the book because I knew I just had this gut feeling inside of me that this book is gonna be a good one. And I was not disappointed. And I was actually reading some Goodreads reviews on this book and some people wrote some bad reviews about it and I was like, you obviously have not read this book till the end what i'm saying is that if you like history books and if you like the stuff that literally happened in general in the form of fiction this is the book for you because i love that combination it's just the real stuff that had really happened uh in the form of fiction like what's more amazing than that so what's the story about the story is about um Calip. Galip, Galile, Galile. <laughs> I'm so bad with pronouncing names. Like somebody help me. I need help. Okay, I'm gonna go with Galip. Uh, the story is about this man called Galip. He's a lawyer in Istanbul, living in Istanbul with his wife, which happens to be his cousin. And uh, her name is Roya, and she is uh, she basically does nothing. She just loves reading detective novels and um, something like true crime novels and detective novels. And yeah, that's all she does all day. And she is somehow, I guess, depressed or just like not uh, not 
um, one thing I, I guess when you read the book her character is basically um, mostly it sounded to me like she just didn't like doing anything special she was just waking up eating reading and sleeping and the way Gallup describes her is obvious that he's really in love but then again you get it because uh, they were like uh, cousins uh, and they grew up together and Gallup always loved Roya so the story goes on as uh, one day that Gallup is leaving for work um, Roya writes a letter for him and uh, tells him that basically she is leaving him and doesn't give him a damn clue that where she is going what is she doing like why is she leaving like what why 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 and Gallup is uh, so obviously confused and lost and um, he uh he he makes this actually very weird uh, defending mecha mechanism in his head uh like processing the um leaving of roya is so hard for him that yeah like the whole book i would say it's uh, more than anything just galley processing why Roya left him and what what was happening why and his first assumption is that maybe she's back with her ex-husband a few years and his second assumption is that maybe she left him for uh, her uncle called Jalal 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 yeah that name I can pronounce that yes <laughs> So, Jalal, uh, Jalal, uh, because um, uh, he is this, uh, and who is he? He is basically this uh, famous uh, columnist, uh, newspaper guy in Turkey, and he writes these long columns about uh, basically everything and living in Turkey. And the interesting thing is that Jalal is missing uh, just like Roya and uh, it's more common for Jalal to be missing because he's got this whole mysterious persona and uh, he's just like uh, he's got uh, like some different homes in Istanbul in different parts of the city and but he always delivers his uh, columns on time to the newspaper office so uh, people basically are not very much worried about him because that's just his thing his personality he likes to be mysterious and missing and um, people looking for him I think he likes the attention and he has got himself quite a few enemies because his columns most of the times are very political and he really likes to write about the western the okay that is such a hard word for me <laughs> the, the westernization happening in Turkey during those years and yeah of course he's got enemies and he's a uh, on the other side he has got a lot of fans like he is famous and uh, you know what comes with fame love and hate yeah both same side of the coin different sides of the same coin yeah that sounds more right <laughs> different sides of the same coin love and hate come with fame so you know he he is just one of those famous people that if you love him it doesn't matter if you love him or if you hate him you would read the stuff that he has wrote and Gallup is obviously worried about uh, his wife Roya and where is she what is she doing and what is she, what is happening basically why why did she left him Gallup becomes so obsessed uh, during this process of uh, finding Roya and that uh, he basically puts up this whole new persona and it's like I feel like when you read this book it's too much for him he doesn't even tell uh, their families he doesn't tell Roya's family or his own family that Roya is missing and uh, he basically goes to parties and stuff and he's like yeah Roya's sick Roya's at home you know how she is she's always sleeping and always sick and always just reading detective novels oh my god she's so boring <laughs> So Gallup obviously uh, comes to the conclusion that uh, Roya has been gone to Jalal and they're together and uh, where are they, what are they doing, why, why, what is happening. So Gallup is obviously worried sick about his wife, about Roya because uh, he knows that uh, Jalal's uh, enemies, um, they're quite the gangster 
and um, he's just worried about both of them and now he wants to find both of them so the, the story goes on and he starts these night searches and he loves he basically can't sleep he sleeps very little he doesn't go to work much often anymore and during his night searches uh, uh, each which is the lengthy part of the book um, is actually what I like because we get to know Istanbul as a city and uh, Turkey as a society uh, so much better and I really like that and uh, there were so many details like even the streets name have been written uh, with detail and everything is just in detail and I've never been to Turkey but like I guess if someone who has been to, to Turkey and read this book uh, you would probably recognize some of the some of the stuff written in this book uh, about the city so basically Galif uh, goes so deep into this search and uh, that he basically starts dressing up as Jalal and he goes and lives in his apartment and he even starts writing his columns and sending them to the newspaper and uh, yeah you can say that uh, he is really emotionally affected by this whole thing and uh, the I would say the whole book, beside being about identity and Turkey and uh, who we are and the culture and everything else, uh, it's more about Galip processing uh, Roya leaving him. I really like the concept of the identity about this book. It just talks about how we all want to be someone else. Like Galip wants to be Jalal and Jalal wants to be Rumi this uh, famous uh, Persian poet and um, at one point of the story uh, Galip uh, goes out with this uh, woman um, <clears throat> in one of his night walks he sees this woman and they go out and hang out for some time and he basically realizes that this woman uh, wanted to be royal along and uh, she was thinking about Galip all the time and uh, she imagined herself as Roya uh, living with Gallup and being in love with him and stuff. I obviously can't spoil the ending for you, but oh my god, I just love the ending. And I was reading it at work and <laughs> I was so emotional. I was like, oh my god. And um, yeah, it this book ended so well. It began so good. Uh, I I just liked everything. And if you like um different cultures culture studies and uh in the form of uh, love stories and mysteries and stuff like that this book is definitely for you and yeah please comment down below and share your opinions and thoughts and if you have read this book i would really like to know what do you think about it did you absolutely hate it and could you not finish it because it was very lengthy in the middle or did you love it like me and read it till the end and perhaps you would have no problem with reading it again if you're from turkey my turkish friends uh please comment uh some turkish novels for me like any great turkish novels i would be really happy to um have some turkish novels to read again yeah thank you thank you guys for watching this video and if you stay till here i would really like you to thank you because this is the first video yay and um yeah uh please like uh comment and uh, subscribe uh, to this channel because uh, i've got a lot of stuff coming up and uh i promise you that and uh yeah just yeah have a good day sip some tea okay where's my tea sip some tea yeah bye bye